Hey everybody, uh, Max DeBoss here from MaxwellSmart.co and uh, doing a little uh, screencast here talking about what I've learned from um, an OER, um, Open Educational Resources um, kind of class we've been taking. And um, so, yeah, a couple of things. Um, what did I know about Open Educational Resources before I took the course? Not much. I understood the idea of what open is, um, as in open source code or open media, um, open software, but I didn't, I guess I didn't understand um, or didn't know of the um, educational culture behind um, open educational resources, um, especially just the, um, the passion of the educators that are part of this. Um, so that was the main thing I learned, that entire idea, and um, just how much passion these educators, ha these educators have to increase th the open nature of um, resources and courses and course material and information in general. So that was really cool. Um, I wish I knew about this when I first started teaching. Um, I didn't have a lot of resources to go off of, and I was quite young. Um, started teaching at the university when I was 22, I think. So I was uh, trying to, stressing out quite a bit, trying to figure out what to build, what I could use. Um, since then, I have found a ton of these open educational um, resources, um, open ed, a lot of people are, I mean, great professors are publishing entire course units um, and curriculum about how to teach photography or multimedia design. Man, that would have helped me a ton. Being able to take that and rework it for my courses. Um, just such a wealth of information that could have helped me and from now on will continue to help me. Um, so I think that's also one of the most surprising things, just how much information there is out there. And um, also how much information isn't out there. How many teachers don't want to share what they've created and I find that interesting. I'm very much about, hey, if I create something cool that I think is going to work for my class, hey, somebody else wants to use it, by all means, please do. And um, understanding that a lot of people don't want to do that. Um, I don't know if it's a pride thing or whatever it is, but um, that's also kind of interesting. How many things I found that I would say, oh, I really want to use this and change it a bit. And they'd have it marked as um, non-derivative, non -derivative, so I couldn't change it. Um if I had to share one thing about the course with a colleague, um, it would be my new passion for uh, keeping things open and sharing things as much as I can, as well as having my students post all of their projects um, at, on an open platform and giving people an open CC license. Um, same thing, that's how, um, that's a practice that will change for me. I'm gonna make sure everything I do, um, course-wise, if I create classroom sways or presentations or, um, you know, web quests, or anything I make, my websites that I use for my course, um, using them as open, um, and letting people use them, but maybe open, share alike, so they also, uh, reshare it and share it back to me so I can learn from that. Um, so that's it. That's what I learned. I think it was a great course for me. i um, happy I took it. Um, not happy that the tests grade you based on um, European spelling of words. That screwed me up quite a bit. But um, anyways, overall, um, learned a lot. Thanks. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.